Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony, and today we're going to discuss all the jailbreak news and releases that have happened within the past couple of days. So because this video is just a little bit late, I'm just going to talk about what has come out and where that leaves us and what else is left to do before we receive a final public jailbreak for iOS 11. So like many of you have probably already discovered, a new developer jailbreak for iOS 11 all the way to 11.1.2 was released late on Christmas Day, being December. 25th and this of course was released by the developer at Morpheus or many of you may know him as Jonathan Levin and of course I'm talking about his Liber iOS developer jailbreak and the biggest reason I didn't report on this immediately is because it is just another developer jailbreak it does not install Cydia and even if it did Cydia would not function properly as Sorik still has yet to come around and update Cydia for iOS 11 or 10.3.3 for that matter but very quickly before we get into the news regarding the jailbreak toolkit that was released for iOS 11 to 11.1.2, I just wanted to state that a 32-bit jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3 was also released. And that's awesome news, meaning 32-bit devices like the iPhone 5 and iPad 4th generation can be jailbroken for life, as 10.3.3 is the latest firmware that those devices run. And of course, those are the latest 32-bit devices out there. Now, a 64-bit jailbreak is in the works for iOS 10.3.3, so for devices like the 5S, 6, 6S, and 7 running iOS 10.3.3, a jailbreak will be coming soon. Lastly, a jailbreak for the latest generation of the Apple TV running iOS 11 to 11.1 was also released Christmas Eve or December 24th. So those were two notable jailbreaks that I at least wanted to let you guys know were out there and have been released in the past couple of days. Anyway, for the rest of this video, I wanted to get into Liber iOS and the jailbreak toolkit released for iOS 11 to 11.1.2. So, here are some of the details regarding that. So, like I said earlier in the video, the jailbreak toolkit called Liber iOS was released on December 25th, around 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Now, this jailbreak does not install Cydia, and is one of the biggest reasons why I didn't really report on it, is because it is just another developer jailbreak, and we've already seen one by Abraham Massery. But that being said, this new jailbreak released by Jonathan Levin is much more stable than that of the one released by Massery. Anyway, although it doesn't install Cydia, this new toolkit does however do a few things. It enables SSH on all 64-bit devices running iOS 11 to 11.1.2, and in my opinion, what's really nice about this early developer jailbreak is that it does disable the auto-update feature. So with this installed, your device will no longer be prompting you to update to iOS 11.2.1 almost every single day. Granted, before this, I did have the tvOS configuration profile installed, so my device would never update to the latest firmware. But for those users who don't have a developer account, this is a very nice and simple alternative to keep your device from updating to the latest firmware. But getting back to the core of this video, like I said, this is just a work in progress developer jailbreak and at its current state, it does not install Cydia. The developer of this jailbreak, Jonathan Levin, has noted once Sorik comes around and updates Cydia to run on iOS 11, he will update this jailbreak to install Cydia for the end user. If we take a look at his official website, you can see he says, and yes, code injection, tweaks, and Cydia will be supported, but only when I'm certain it's a stable jailbreak. He says, happy holidays, and no, we're not done yet, more to come, just not now. But unfortunately, at its current state, in my opinion, I would personally advise just to stay away from this jailbreak and not go rush to download it. I would just wait for it to be updated, and so all the bugs are worked out, just so you don't jeopardize your device running iOS 11.1.1. .1 or below and then ultimately have to restore to 11.2 or something like that because just as a refresher this jailbreak mostly depends on Ian Beer's exploit and as we know from my past jailbreak update videos Ian Beer's exploit is only for iOS 11 to 11.1.2 it has been patched in 11.2 and 11.2.1 and all future versions of iOS 11 past that point so if you are on iOS 11 to 11.2.1 I would just stay where you are at and be patient and wait for Sorik to finish updating Cydia and Mobile Substrate to run on iOS 11. We really don't have an ETA on this, and I'm really not expecting Sorik to give us any sort of update on his progress. 
Honestly, Sorek just works in the background, and then out of nowhere, once he is finished, he will just drop the update for Cydia. But regardless, this is extremely exciting news, guys. We have absolutely everything needed for a jailbreak, aside from Cydia being updated. One thing I did want to mention real quick though, if you guys did previously download the Tupanga developer jailbreak, I would personally go ahead and just delete that as Liber iOS is extremely more stable and much more successful at actually patching the kernel. And just as an example, if you guys saw my last jailbreak update release talking about the Tupanga jailbreak, you saw all my struggles of even getting Cydia to install successfully. I managed to get Cydia to install eventually, but I never could actually get it to run and open up. But now with Liber iOS, once it repatches everything and runs through its service, I'm now able to get Cydia to open up and that was just with my first try using Liber iOS. Anyway guys, like I said, this really doesn't do anything at all for me. This is as far as you can get in its current state. Cydia does not let you install any sources, it does not let you add any packages or download any tweaks, so really there is no point aside from saying that you have Cydia on your device, it currently doesn't run in its current state. And so that's why I'm not really going into any in-depth process of how to install Cydia on your device because there really is no point and it is very risky to get Cydia running in its current state on your device. But I just wanted to make this video showing you guys it can be run on the iPhone 10 on iOS 11. 1.2. Anyway guys, I hope that point illustrates just exactly how close we are from a public jailbreak utility release for iOS 11. Of course, once a public utility is released, I'll be one of, if not the first YouTuber to make a tutorial video on how to jailbreak your device on iOS 11. So stay tuned guys and watch this page very closely as an iOS 11 jailbreak is literally right around the corner from being released. If you guys want to be updated more often, follow me on my social media pages and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when I release new videos such as a jailbreaking tutorial when that comes out. Anyway, if you guys are interested and willing to take the risk of installing this IPA, if we take a look back at Jonathan Levin's website, it's newosbook.com slash iOS. This is his official site where he links an IPA that you can download. And again, we install the IPA just the same way we would any other IPA using Cydia Impactor. So once we drag the IPA on Cydia Impactor, we enter our credentials, then it will install on our device. Of course, we head to settings and trust our developer account that we used and once that is trusted we can open Liber iOS and run it on our device. Now again like I said this won't install Cydia but the only reason I can think of that you would want to install this right now today is just to stop the auto update feature if you don't have a developer account to install the tvOS beta configuration profile. So this is almost a simpler way than going through the process of finding that link and downloading and installing that. This does it all in one step. Anyway, while that's a quick process of how to install this developer jailbreak for the purposes of stopping auto updates, I'm really not going to go any further of how to install Cydia because like I said earlier in this video, there really is no point of doing so and it is a pretty risky process that could jeopardize your device and forcing it to restore. Anyway guys, that is all I have to offer you for today with this new iOS jailbreak for iOS 11 of course. Anyway guys, if you want to check out the new Apple TV jailbreak for iOS 11 to 11, point one you can do so right here by clicking this link now both of these jailbreaks were created by the same developer being jonathan levin or at morpheus and let me know down in the comment section if you guys want a tutorial process of how to install this jailbreak on the Apple TV. I'm somewhat interested in doing this myself, but I just don't have an Apple TV right now. Granted, I really could go out and get one just to do a video on it and see what it looks like. Anyway, guys, it doesn't look like too hard of a process to install it. At the same time, I'd love to know down in the comments section if coverage on the iOS 10.3.3 32-bit jailbreak that has currently been released would be something that interests you as well. Thus far on the this channel I've focused my efforts on the new iOS 11 jailbreak but it doesn't hurt to always look back on older devices and older firmwares so let me know down in the comment section like I said if you would like a tutorial video on how to do this process and what that would look like this jailbreak again like I said is only for 32-bit devices being like the iPhone 
5 or iPad 4th generation. So pretty old devices on pretty old firmwares. But like I said, there is a 64-bit jailbreak in the works for 10.3.3 as well. So if you guys stayed on those firmwares, you are not quite out of luck as there should be a new jailbreak utility being released for that firmware and for 64-bit devices as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Again, there has been so much information regarding iOS 11 and 10 and Apple TV jailbreaks for that matter as well. Anyway guys, take care and until next time, this is Tony signing out.